Hello friends, Osiris here and the 7 star terror event for Pikachu is coming to Scarlet and Violet later this week. We're going to cover all of the details of this event as well as some of the best builds you're going to be able to put together in your game to take this down when the event goes live. <laughs> So running from the 12th of July, starting later this week as of recording this video and running for two weeks until the 25th of July, we're going to see the seven star Pikachu return to Scarlet and Violet. We've had the beauty of having this event already run in our game, so we have the knowledge of what to expect and the builds that definitely work going into this event now you might question is it going to be different from that first time out well i would probably say no because i think we've had the repeat of the seven star terror Raid event for charizard recently and that was exactly the same from the first time that went out i would say the only difference we're going to see between the pikachu that was originally running in february 2023 to this one is maybe an update with the item drops where we see those herba mystica included with the item drop rewards after beating the seven star Pikachu. And that's going to be very good because this event is going to be one that's going to be key for farming those Herba Mystica, especially in light of all the brand new mass outbreak events that have been announced that are running over this summer. And if you have missed that update, of course, we covered it recently on the channel covering all of the events that will be happening over the summer. I'll link it up in the top right hand corner for you now so you can check out all the details knowing what to expect coming over July and August. As this is a returning raid to Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, we now know all the information about this seven star Pikachu. So it will be level 100, it will have its hidden ability, the Lightning Rod, so don't bring any electric type Pokemon against this Water Terror Pokemon. The moves it's going to have are big powerful ones. They're going to be Thunder. That's going to be 100% accurate in the rain, which it does have access to. It's going to have that rain dance. It's going to have Surf to be boosted as well by that rain dance. Clear Rough and Iron Till are its kind of coverage moves. So it's going to give things like Dark types, Dragon types a hard time in this raid. And obviously anything that is like a fairy that's weak to those Iron Till steel type attack. It's going to have the mightiest mark. It will have a quiet nature as well. And it will have the held item. So not normally we see 7 star terror raid events have held items. But in this case, Pikachu not the strongest of Pokemon. So getting a little help in hand with that light ball. The big bonus with the light ball is it does boost the attack and special attack of Pikachu by 50% when it is holding this item. So its attacks are going to be hitting a lot harder than they would be normally holding the light ball. Can only be caught once per save file. So if you have caught this previously in your game, you're probably not likely to be able to catch it again. Uh, but you will be able to beat this and run through and farm it for the high cost items. Now, there are some notable things. It does have a 50 times multiplier to its HP. It does have 252 EVs in its special attack and in its HP with the remaining put into its attack. But the most important thing that I think we need to keep an eye out for in this raid, and it might inspire some of your own builds going into this raid, is the interaction that the Pikachu has. So at the start of the raid, we're going to see the shield go up. It's also going to set up a rain dance and then fire off a surf. So that's the first turns. Turn zero, you're going to see the shield go up, rain dance, and then a surf fired off. The next thing is to keep an eye out for an 80% of the raid timer. It's going to reduce your Terra Orb charge. So that's going to mean you're going to have to spend an extra turn before you can terastalize. Uh, it also resets its stat drops on 80%. So the one thing that I would say going into the raid is don't bring anything that can't be affected through the shield. Things like fake tears, screech, things like that aren't really going to be effective in this raid. And even if you do use something like acid spray or apple acid or anything along those lines, it will be negated quite early on. It will reduce your terror orb charge again on 65% of the timer and then it will reset for the final time its stat drops on 65% of the timer. But the nice thing that you'll notice throughout all of these interactions is that it doesn't reduce any of our stat boosts on our side of the field or our abilities. So once we set up in the raid, we're kind of good to go. So a lot of the builds will focus around doing that. But this is what you can expect from the Pikachu. I think one of the things that will be quite key in this raid is if you do have access to something like that TM from the Teal Mask DLC knockoff, it is going to be very key in removing that light ball. It makes the Pikachu way less scary going forward in the raid. 
So if you can remove that early on, it is a very key thing to be able to do. Now, the builds I'm going to recommend going into this Terror Aid event are ones that are tried and tested. You're going to have no problem taking down the Pikachu. The first three that we've got are all going to be available in the base game. So you don't need the DLC. You don't need Pokemon Home to access these. But these are all going to be very reliable builds that have been tested the first time the Pikachu event came out. You want to put these together in your game you're very safe to do so because these will work when the raid drops. Now, the first one is going to be our Bolivia. I feel like probably the fastest one that we know of so far. And for a number of reasons, it's going to be grass and normal typing. The terror typing on it is going to be grass. We're going to have the item, the covert clock as well. That just prevents if you do get hit with the thunders, you're not going to be subjected to any turns of paralysis. Level 100, hyper trained, of course, and like always, all of the builds that we feature in today's video are going to be down in the description if you want to take a closer look at the details after the video. The moveset for the Arb Olivia is going to be Synthesis. That is an egg move, so you're going to have to find something in your boxes with Synthesis that already knows that. Then just delete a move on the Arb Olivia, put a Mirror Herb item on it, and then put that Pokemon with Synthesis and Arb Olivia in your party, set up a picnic. It'll be transferred over to the Arb Olivia. It's very simple. Then we're going to have Sunny Day, Growth, and Giga Drain. That's going to be primarily the moveset for it. The EV spread is going to be very straightforward. 252 in HP and then 252 EVs in Special Attack. The remaining put into either the Defense or the Special Defense. The main thing that you want to make sure that your Arbolivia has is going to be that Seed Sora ability. So anytime you are taking an attack, it will set up the Grassy Train. that will further boost your Giga Drains. Basic idea of this is going to be turn one, you're going to get that sunny day up. It's going to weaken the power of those surfs. And also when sunny day is in effect, growth boosts your special attack and attack by two stages rather than just one when the sun isn't present. So you're going to boost that up to plus six. You're going to use synthesis when required. And then you're going to use Giga Drain as your main attacking option. You want to chase down your Trastalization as soon as possible. Once you Trastalize and your plus six special attack, and have no trouble taking down this Pikachu. The Obolivia as well, very nice option because it does have pretty nice HP stat and a good special defense stat as well. So very good option going into this one. Like I say, tried and tested from that first time the Pikachu raid came out. Uh, if you want to go and solo in your game, put this one together. You're going to have no trouble at all when the Pikachu goes live later this week. The next tried and tested option is going to be Lorantis, one of my favorite ones. I really love this build. I used this a lot when the last Pikachu event ran. Grass Terra typing, Covered Clock, again, as the held item there because you want to avoid any sort of secondary effects like that Paralysis. Level 100, Hyper Trained, of course, as well. And a little difference from the first time out with Lorantis. Now it gets access to the TM knockoff which you can get through the teal mask dlc uh, that's going to be so important because you're going to be able to remove like we've already mentioned that light ball from the pikachu so you're going to be able to have a way easier time in this raid than we did the first time where it didn't have access to that tm the rest of the moveset is going to be sunny day again you want to override the rain reduce the damage of that uh, surf on the field and then you've got leaf storm with the ability contrary, that flips around any stat changes that you take. So the Leaf Storm naturally going to lower your special attack by two stages. But the contrary actually gives you a plus two to your special attack. So you only need to use Leaf Storm three times in the battle. You're going to be plus six. And then you can use the Giga Drain just to heal health off as and when required. The EV spread is very straightforward as well. It's going to be 252 EVs in HP, 252 in special attack with a modest nature the remaining put into that special defense stat so you can just take those special attacks a little bit better but that's a Lorantis again a very good option and one that can be found in the base games as well so going to be something that you're going to have a lot of success with if you want to use it next up another very consistent option maybe not the fastest but it is going to have no trouble against the Pikachu you're not going to get knocked out by the Pikachu you're really going to have an easy time using Clods there with that poisoning ground typing big important thing here is that you have the water absorb ability we'll get to that in a minute but you'll have an immunity to any electric type attacks because of your ground typing you've got the ground terror typing on there as well and the held item for this one is going to be the Shell Bell. You could go with something like the Expert Belt. Of course, again, level 100 and Hyper Train. Just make sure those IVs are all set to 31. Move set we went for is going to be Recover, Mud Slap, Curse, and Earthquake. You can interchange Mud Slap for anything else, but I just feel it gives you a quick option to get to your Trastalization a lot earlier. The big important thing, though, with the Clod set, as usual, is going to be that Water Absorbability, giving you complete immunity to those Water-type attacks that are coming out from the Pikachu. 
Uh, they're going to be boosted by the rain. Every time it fires off a surf, it's going to actually heal you uh, opposed to doing any damage, which is really nice, especially after you do terastalize. Um, then the EV spread is going to be 252 EVs in HP, 252 EVs in attack, and the remaining EVs can be put in either the defense or the special defense. Basic premise is going to be chasing your terrestrialization as soon as possible with those mud slaps. Once you can terrestrialize, get those curses under your belt and then just spam earthquake. It's going to be very simple, straightforward. You're not going to be taking much damage from the play roughs, the iron tails. You take no damage from the serves or the thunders. So the Pikachu are going to have a really hard time against the Clodsire if you're worried about going into this raid, which you really shouldn't be. But Clodsire are going to be one of those Pokemon that you're going to have an easy, easy, easy time taking down the Pikachu with. Now, some different options. We've had updates with the DLC since the last Pikachu event. So we do have some new Pokemon that we can play around with. One of them that I did want to bring to the table today that I think could be very good, might be one of the faster ones that we could go into the raid with. It's going to be Superior. Uh, is going to have the grass terror typing cover clock again for those reasons that we talked about we don't want to be subjected to paralysis throughout the raid level 100 hyper trained of course but the moveset of sunny day that is going to be a tm knockoff going to be a tm from the dlcs i'm assuming if you've got superior you've got the dlcs anyway uh, and then we're going to go with Giga Drain and Leaf Storm. The big thing about Superior as well is it does get that contrary ability. So a lot like the Lorantis where when you use Leaf Storm rather than getting minus two special attack, it's going to give you plus two special attack. And because the Pikachu doesn't nullify or remove the stat boost to our side of the field, once we've used three of them, we're going to be good to go. We've got Knockoff as well, which is nice to remove that Life Ball. Sunny Day, again, along the same lines, reducing the damage of those water type attacks. And then the EV spread is going to be just very straightforward. 252 in HP and then 252 in special attack with a modest nature. But I do think the Superior could be a very quick way to run through the raid. I think you're going to start off the raid by probably going knockoff, then Sunny Day, then Giga Drain if you need to recover any health, and then spamming the Leaf Storms until you can terrestrialize and then spam Giga Drain to kind of end the raid. That's how I kind of see it playing out. But um, there might be some different interactions. Definitely one that I'm looking forward to trying, but I think another good option if you want to go into the raid with something different this weekend. And finally, the last build I'm going to suggest in today's video, and don't get me wrong, I think there are a bunch of other builds that are going to be able to go into this Pikachu uh, maybe Shaman might be a good option, but like I say, I think there's going to be a lot of viable options going into this raid this weekend. These are just some that I know work and some that I see potentially newer options that we didn't have last time doing a very good job against the Pikachu. But Venusaur going to be one that I do think is going to be very good going in this weekend. The reason I pick P Venusaur is because it's naturally faster than the Pikachu um, and it outspeeds it. So you're going to be able to get a lot of your attacks off to set up in the raid in a better state than you would be when you're using something like Vile Plume, Victory Bell, that are also going to be probably quite good options with the same sort of typing as well. Cover Cloak, again, for the same reasons. We don't want to be paralyzed throughout the raid. Level 100, Grass Terror Typing, of course, to get the most out of our Grass Type attacks. The move set is going to be Sunny Day, Growth, Acid Spray, and Giga Drain. Chlorophyll going to be the ability on the Venusaur and the EV spread again going to be very straightforward 252 EVs in HP and special attack the remaining EVs put into that defense and um, the basic premise again sunny day turn one go for your growth so you're only going to need three then that's going to put you on plus three attack acid spray that's going to reduce the special attack on the Pikachu just bear in mind two times throughout the raid it will remove those stat drops but at the same time, it's getting you closer to being able to terrestrialize, which is the main thing in this raid. And then Giga Drain is going to be there just to recover health and do massive damage as well. So very straightforward. But I do think a good option, I think between the Superior and the Venusaur, they could both be very good options going into this raid. So I think you're not going to have any trouble if you put any one of these five together in your game. I'm looking forward to the Pikachu dropping and seeing what new builds might come out that might be the faster ways to take this down. Apologies, my light has just went off, so it's went a little bit darker. That's why. But let me know if you've got your own builds in mind that you're planning to take into the Pikachu. Let me know down in the comment section below. I'd love to see what you're planning to put together and how that will pan out. And maybe I'll jump on some of your ideas as well when the event goes live later this week. Of course, even though this is a repeat of last time, we will go live once the raid is in our games on Thursday. And we'll do a best solo build video just to make sure that any of you that have any questions any worries about this raid we can put out the most effective way to farm through for for those herbomysticas which i suspect will be dropping alongside it and of course 
not only the Pikachu returning, but we've got the Mass Outbreak event as well, which will feature Pichu, Pikachu, Mimikyu, Raichu, and Alolan Raichu, which is going to be a really nice one with increased shiny odds as well. And that'll be running along the same time from 12th of July until the 25th of July. So the next two weeks are going to be a lot of fun, especially for farming Herba Mystica potentially and getting ourselves a bunch of shinies along the way. Right, that is everything for today's video. I hope you found it useful, friends. If you have, do drop a like on the video. It does really, really help. And uh, if you want to stay up to date with all of our updates on the channel in regards to anything Pokemon, then do hit that subscribe button and make sure you turn on notifications so you don't miss them when they go live. So thank you again for tuning in. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll catch you all in another video very soon. So until then, take care of yourselves, and bye-bye.